July 2020 has been one of the best months I've ever had in terms of video game pickups and in today's video I'm going to show you all of my pickups for the month of July 2020 so strap in because this is going to be a massive massive pickups video let's get into it So in July, I also picked up one of the largest game lots I've ever gotten in my life. It was um, around 1,100 items which consisted of consoles, controllers, accessories, and video games. And I actually have a video showing that pickup and the journey that led to it and unboxing it. It's a very long video, but I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. Now obviously, I didn't plan on keeping everything in that game collection that I bought because a lot of it was duplicates or games that I'm just not interested in. I'm still going through the game lot, that's how massive it is, so I haven't decided everything that I'm going to keep yet, but I wanted to show you all today uh, what I'm going to keep from that game lot real fast. I still got a lot of games to go through, but this is what I'm keeping so far. I'm not through going through the PlayStation 3 games, but so far I've decided to keep Resistance 3 for the PlayStation 3. Uh, a couple of PS4 games, we've got Werewolves Within, Infamous Second Son, The Order 1986, and Until Dawn. And a Super Nintendo game that I surprisingly did not have, and I can't believe I did not have that game, and that is... Yoshi's Island for the Super Nintendo. Had to keep that. Decided to keep a bunch of Wii games from the game collection, so let's go through some of these. We've got Help Wanted, 50 Wacky Jobs, Wii Music, The Blob 2, Nerf In Strike, Silent Hill Shattered Memories, Generator Rex Agent of Providence, which looks like a hidden gem, Resident Evil The Dark Side Chronicles, Fling Smash, Final Fantasy Fables Chocobo Dungeon, Battalion Wars 2, Super Mario Strikers Charged, Monster 4x4 World Circuit, Monster 4x4 Stunt Racer, Need for Speed Nitro, Rayman Raving Rabbids TV Party, Trauma Center New Blood and Trauma Center Second Opinion, Wii Fit, Pokey Park 2 Wonders Beyond. So that's going to be a nice boost to the Wii collection. I've really been getting heavily into collecting for the Wii and the Wii U here lately. Speaking of Wii U, there were three Wii U games from the game collection that I decided to keep, and those games are Captain Toad Treasure Tracker, Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, and Game and Wario. There's some 3DS games from the collection I decided to keep as well, and those games are Steel Diver, Resident Evil The Mercenaries 3D, Lego City Undercover The Chase Begins, Kingdom Hearts 3D Dream Drop Distance, Metroid Samus Returns, and Mario and Luigi Dream Team. There were also some DS games. We've got Rhythm Heaven, which I've heard is a fantastic game, and it got really good reviews. I've never played a game in this series before. Resident Evil Deadly Silence, The Legendary Starfy, and Mario vs. Donkey Kong Mini Land Mayhem. And Finally, we've got a crap load of Game Gear, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance games, so let's run through these really quickly. Pokemon Yellow, Panel Action Bingo, Burai Fighter Deluxe, Yoshi's Cookie, Mortal Kombat 3, Killer Instinct, Game & Watch Gallery, Double Dragon 2, Golf, Double Dragon, Kid Icarus of Myths & Monsters, and Wario Land 2. For the Game Gear, we've got Olympic Gold, GP Rider, Tesseray, and Bust a Move. For the Game Boy Color, we have The Simpsons Night of the Living Treehouse of Terror, Donkey Kong Country, Tomb Raider starring Laura Croft, Legend of Zelda Oracle of Seasons, a really rare game for the Game Boy Color and a fantastic game, Metal Gear Solid, Pocket Bomberman, Game & Watch Gallery 3, Mortal Kombat 4, Pokemon Trading Card Game, Legend of Zelda Link's Awakening DX, and Conker's Pocket Tales. For the Game Boy Advance, we have Mario & Luigi Superstar Saga, Super Mario World Super Mario Advance 2, Mario vs. Donkey Kong, DK King of Swing, Banjo Pilot, Banjo Kazooie Grunty's Revenge, Pokemon Pinball Ruby and Sapphire, Mario Kart Super Circuit, Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past Four Swords, Need for Speed Carbon Own the City, Yoshi's Island Super Mario Advance 3, and Super Mario Advance 4 Super Mario Bros 3. Then we have Donkey Kong Country, Ice Climbers, Excite Bike, Xevious, Need for Speed Underground 2, and Metroid Zero Mission. Now I'm sure you noticed that a lot of those games had price stickers on them and that is because this collector that I bought the collection from, he used to own a retro game store, and a lot of those games came from his retro game store, and those were the price tags he had on the game. Unfortunately, he didn't remove them, so I'm going to have to go through and remove them, which um, thankfully they are stickers that don't leave a lot of residue, and they're, they're, they don't rip the label whenever you try to peel them off, as long as you're careful. 
So I should be able to get them off relatively easily, but that, very happy with those games that I decided to keep from that game collection. And again, I'm still going through it, so next month for the next pickups video, I'll probably have more games to show that I decided to keep from that collection, so stay tuned for that. And again, if you missed that video for that mega game collection, I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. Now let's move on to the rest of the pickups. Let's move on to a few smaller miscellaneous pickups before I get to a couple of pretty decent game lots that I bought in July, although not as big as that game collection. So I only got two Nintendo Switch games in the month of July. I got, of course, Paper Mario the Origami King and the game is absolutely fantastic. If you haven't played it, do not listen to the haters. This game is fantastic in my opinion at least. And I did a video going over my thoughts and opinions for Paper Mario the Origami King in detail with no spoilers. So if you want to check that out, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below, but I highly recommend it. And also from Limited Run Games, it's not one of their numbered releases, but it's a game that they're publishing for a developer outside of their numbered releases and that is super epic the entertainment war and i actually covered this game in a upcoming switch games video in the past and it looks like a really really cool game that sort of spoofs the video game industry but it looks like it's also a metroidvania 2d side scrolling metroidvania looks really cool so i'm looking forward to digging into that now once i beat paper mario the origami king that made me want to play the only Paper Mario game that I've never played, which is Paper Mario Color Splash on the Wii U. So, I picked up Paper Mario Color Splash from eBay. Now, unfortunately, it has sort of a sun-faded label to a degree, and it's missing the manual. But that's okay, because I mainly wanted it so that I could play it, and of course in my collection as well. But I've been playing it lately, and so far I'm having an absolute blast with Color Splash. I don't understand all the hate. So far, I do like Origami King a little bit better, but I'm only five hours in the color splash, so I can't make a final judgment yet. My local Books A Million is actually, unfortunately, sadly, closing the store, but on the plus side, because they're closing the store, they have to get rid of all their inventory, so they're having massive sales. Everything in the store is marked down. So I went in there searching for a few video game related things, and I picked up this really cool Big Daddy figurine. Let me bring that closer to the camera so that you can see that. So this really cool Big Daddy figure from the Bioshock series. Got it for like five bucks, which is pretty awesome. And then I also picked up this Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask manga or manga, however the hell you pronounce that word. And uh, I will probably read it at some point because it actually looks pretty cool. Next up are some Instagram pickups. And first off from my good friend Retro Sniper, Who's the, who's the one that actually hooked me up with the PAL exclusive Resident Evil 4 Edition GameCube. He also hooked me up with the Resident Evil 4 GameCube controller that goes with it. And this is a badass controller because it's half black and half silver, as you can see there. And then it also has Resident Evil 4 in the center of it. So it is a really, really nice GameCube controller and I'm very happy to have it in the collection with my Resident Evil 4 GameCube, especially considering how much of a Resident Evil 4 fan that I am. Also from Highway to Kel Claim Sale, and all these Instagrammers, I will leave their account names in the description down below. I highly encourage you to check them out if you're on Instagram because they sell games often and you can get good deals. For the Wii U, I got Epic Mickey 2, The Power of Two. And then I also got two Game Boy Color games and one Game Boy game. I got Dragon Ball Z Legendary Super Warriors. And then I got X-Men Wolverine's Rage and Mercenary Force on the Game Boy. So pretty cool stuff there. I'm really getting into collecting for the Game Boy, Game Boy Color, and Game Boy Advance here lately. Speaking of Game Boy, for my good friend Carl, aka Retro Gaming Zone, which I did a podcast episode with where we talked all about game collecting, and I'll leave a link to that in the description down below as well. I bought James Bond 007 from him, and this is actually a really interesting game. I feel like it's a hidden gem that a lot of people don't talk about. Now let's move on to a Wii and Wii U game lot that I bought. So this next pickup is yet another example for why if you're a game collector, you need to let everybody you know that you collect video games, coworkers, friends, family, friends of friends, everybody you know, you need to let them know that you collect video games because you never know who has video games and oftentimes you might get games for free from these people. At the very least, you might get games at a really, really low price because they just want to get rid of them because maybe they've been in a closet or a storage unit. You never know. So you should always ask and let everybody know. And that's exactly what I did. I got a new job recently at my employer, moved to another area of the company. And uh, I let some of my new coworkers know that I collect video games. And sure enough, one of them said, 
My kids have a bunch of Wii and Wii U games and a Wii U that they don't want anymore and they want to sell. And she gave me a really, really good deal on the lot. And there's some pretty good stuff here. So I'm going to show the games. There's also, a, it came with a Wii U with all the hookups and the gamepad. And also came with three Wii Motes and, and three Nunchucks and a Wii U Pro Controller. I'm not going to show that because it's buried in a box in my closet. I didn't feel like digging it out. But I will show you the games. So let's go ahead and get into the uh, Wii games first. So we got a loose copy of Wii Sports, Monopoly, Skylanders Giants, Mario Kart Wii. Wii Play, SpongeBob SquarePants Plankton's Aquatic Revenge, Wii Sports Resort, Skylanders Swap Force, Monopoly, Worms Battle Islands, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, Who Wants to Be a Millionaire, Lego Star Wars 3, Jeopardy, Lego Indiana Jones 2, and Lego Batman 2. The Wii U games, we have Nintendo Land, Super Mario 3D World, Mario Party 10, Splatoon, Disney Infinity with the manual but no cover art, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Wipeout 3, The Smurfs 2, Skylanders Trap Team, Pokin Tournament, New Super Mario Bros. Wii U plus New Super Luigi Wii U in one disc, and Lego Movie The Video Game, Lego Star Wars The Force Awakens, Lego Marvel Super Heroes, Lego Jurassic World, Lego The Hobbit, Lego Dimensions, Lego City Undercover, Lego Batman 3, and Just Dance 2017. So it's a pretty good lot of Wii and Wii U games, and I was very excited because I'm trying to collect every single Wii U game. I'm going for a complete Wii U collection. So uh, I got a lot of Wii U games that I needed to add to the collection out of this lot. Now, unfortunately, the condition is kind of all over the place because they were owned by kids. So a lot of the discs are pretty scratched up. Some of the cases are pretty banged up. But the discs I can fix with a, I have a disc resurfacer. Um, so it's not that big of a deal. And the price was so good that I can't complain. So uh, let's move on to a couple of miscellaneous pickups um, that I don't actually have in front of me. So I'm going to show you pictures and then we'll get to another large game lot that I got in July. Now I got a pretty cool pickup for a fantastic price, but there's a bit of a caveat. Now I don't have that in front of me right now to show you on camera because I put it all in storage for now because I just don't have the room for it. But I do have a picture to show you, so let me go ahead and throw that up on the screen. So everything that you see here in this picture, I got for 120 bucks. Now at first glance, you might be thinking that is an absolute steal. And to a degree it is. I got a fantastic deal on everything, but the problem is almost all of those consoles that you see there don't work in various ways. They have various problems. So unfortunately, they're not really in a sellable condition unless I sell them as non-working for parts only. For $120, I couldn't say no. There's a stack of game magazines. There's some boxes. Um, that box inter interactor from Sega. There's some vintage stuff, some DVDs, some toys, some old Atari games a boxed Wii that doesn't work, a lot of good stuff there. Now the one cool thing is there was also a Game Boy Micro in that lot and the Game Boy Micro did work. And I don't really care to have a Game Boy Micro so I was able to sell that to make my money back. So for now I've got these consoles in storage but I am going to try to fix them because if I can even fix a few of them then I'm going to come out really really good on this and uh, it's going to be a great, great pickup. Now, as a lot of you know, I've been collecting VHS tapes here lately as well, and I did pick up some VHS in the month of July. And again, I didn't feel like digging those out, so I'm just gonna throw a picture up on the screen and show you what I got. So some pretty good stuff here. I got Monty Python and the Holy Grail, Men in Black 2, The Mummy Returns, Liar Liar, Christmas Movie Classics, Beverly Hills Cop, Young Guns 2, Groundhog Day, The Animal, Rush Hour, the Sound of Music, Bad Boys, and Desperado. I've fallen in love with VHS tapes recently, but I'm only going for movies that I enjoy, movies that I liked when I was younger. Sometimes I might see a movie I've never seen before and look it up, and if it looks like it's gonna be a good movie, I might actually pick that up as well. But I've uh, definitely been bit by the VHS bug, and the great thing about VHS collecting is it is a really, really damn cheap hobby to get into. All right, everybody, let's move on to the final pickup in today's video, which is a very large game lot that I got for a fantastic price from a fellow YouTuber that actually is local, which is pretty cool. So let's go ahead and get into that. So this particular game lot is another reason why you should always check the Facebook Marketplace because you never know what kind of fantastic deals are gonna appear on. So I was checking the Facebook Marketplace. I saw this post for just a bunch of games, over a hundred games with some consoles. And the guy said he just wants to sell it all. He doesn't have time to test it. So a lot of it's untested. 
and the price was really 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 good like uh, I think it was it was 240 bucks well, I added it six, uh, 260, I think, and I talked him down to 240. So, got a fantastic deal on it. He really hooked me up. So, let's go through the games first, and then I'll show a couple of miscellaneous things from the lot as well. For the Xbox One, we have Borderlands, the Handsome Jack Collection, and Monster Hunter World. For the PlayStation 4, we have a sealed copy of Titanfall 2, fantastic game, The Evil Within, and Destiny. A couple of random sports Super Nintendo games here. We've got... Tecmo Super NBA Basketball and Madden 95. Nothing really special there. Got a few PSP games. We've got World Series Poker, Tiger Woods PGA Tour, SOCOM US Navy SEALs Fire Team Bravo, and Madden NFL 06. We also have some PSP UMD movies. We have Stuart Little and Stuart Little 2 in a double pack, Robots, Ice Age, and The Incredibles. Got some Xbox 360 games here. We've got Grand Theft Auto 5 Loose, Banjo Kazooie Nuts and Bolts Loose, Zoo Tycoon, Madden NFL 16, Connect Adventures, Connect Joyride, Baja Edge of Control, and Just Dance 3. We've got a decent stack of GameCube games here. We have SSX Tricky, Ghost Recon, Rainbow Six 3, Namco Museum, Madden 2002, Ghost Recon 2, Splinter Cell, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 2003, Jeremy McGrath's Supercross World, The Sum of All Fears, Lord of the Rings The Two Towers, Reign of Fire, NFL 2K3, Splinter Cell Pandora Tomorrow, Splinter Cell Chaos Theory, and Extreme G3. Got a stack of PlayStation 2 games here as well. We have Fight Club, Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire, Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2, The Sims Busting Out, NASCAR 06, Spider-Man, ATV4 Off-Road Fury, Soul Calibur 2, a copy of Final Fantasy X2 with the manual, no cover art, Peter Jackson's King Kong, Super Trucks Racing, WWE SmackDown vs. Raw 2011, Harry Potter and the Prisoner of Azkaban, Fight Night Round 2, and Dragon Ball Z Budokai. Got a good stack of Wii games here. We have Disney Universe, Spider-Man 3, Tony Hawk Shred, and we have the board too, which I'll show in just a moment. Wipe Out the Game, a loose copy of Just Dance 4, and Star Wars Clone Wars Lightsaber Duels. Wipe Out 2, Marvel Superhero Squad, Iron Man 2, Skylander Spyro's Adventure, Sega Bass Fishing, Epic Mickey, Rock Band 2, ACDC Live, Wipeout 2, Cabela's Dangerous Hunts, and Disney High School Musical Dance. Now the bulk of this game lot was PlayStation 3 games, so let's go ahead and go through the PS3 games real quick. Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2, Ghost Recon Future Soldier, Call of Duty 4 Modern Warfare, Call of Duty Ghosts, Create, The Beatles Rock Band, Call of Duty Ghosts, Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3, Zumba Fitness, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 07, Sonic Generations, Skyrim, Medal of Honor Warfighter, Tony Hawk Shred, Rainbow Six Vegas 2, Medal of Honor, Star Wars The Clone Wars Republic Heroes, Lego Star Wars 3, Sniper Elite V2, NBA 2K13, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 13, Operation Flashpoint Red River, Mini Ninjas, ACDC Live, Star Wars The Force Unleashed, Rainbow Six Vegas, Rocksmith, Battlefield 3, Lego Batman 2, Sleeping Dogs, Gran Turismo 5, Battlefield Bad Company 2, Ghost Recon 2 Advanced Warfighter, Call of Duty Black Ops, Saints Row 4, Battlefield 4, Madden NFL 12, Rock Band 2, Batman Arkham City, Call of Duty Black Ops 2, Rock Band, Kung Fu Panda, NASCAR 08, Batman Arkham Asylum, Tiger Woods PGA Tour 08, Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock, and Guitar Hero Aerosmith. We also have some miscellaneous stuff. We've got this boxed copy of Skylander's Spyro's Adventure, the starter kit. An entire bag of Skylander's figures. We've got a Namco plug and play console, a PSP hard case, and two PSP UMD cases. And then we also got a loose copy of Lemmings on the PSP, and what is that? Uh, open Season UMD movie. So just a few more miscellaneous things to show. Uh, let's see, in this bag we've got a busted up Game Boy, we've got some Wii controllers, a Super Nintendo controller, an OG Nintendo DS, which is pretty cool. We have a loose Wii U and a loose Wii. No hookups, unfortunately. I have no idea if they work. I hope so. And we have the Tony Hawk Shred board, which is pretty cool, although I've heard the game is not that great. Um, and this is the board for the Wii. This is the board for the Wii version of the game. I actually missed a few games, so let me show those real quick. We've got Need for Speed Porsche Unleashed. Got some Wii games here. 
Turtles Smash Up, Lego Star Wars The Complete Saga, Lego Indiana Jones, Tony Hawk's Downhill Jam, Raving Rabbids Travel in Time, Ben 10 Alien Force Vilgax Attacks, and Lego Batman. A couple of PSP games I missed, Lego Indiana Jones 2, Splinter Cell Essentials, and Ben 10 Alien Force. And some PS3 games I missed. We've got TV Superstars, Kingdom Hearts 1.5 Remix, Kingdom Hearts 2.5 Remix, The Infamous Collection, which includes both Infamous and Infamous 2, Resistance Fall of Man, and Sports Champion. So I'm very, very happy with that game lot. And shout out to Nick for hooking me up with that game lot for a really good price. And he have a, has a YouTube channel where he does like tech reviews and some gaming stuff. And uh, he's going to be picking back up on the YouTube channel. So I'll leave a link to that in the description down below. I encourage you to check it out, especially if you like technology and seeing reviews of technology. So there you have it folks, those are my video game pickups for the month of July. As I said, July was a massive month. I have no idea how long this video is going to end up being, of course, until I edit it. So I'm sure it's pretty long. So if you stuck through to the end, thank you very much. And if you enjoyed the video, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments down below what you picked up in the month of July. Also, let me know in the comments down below if you have any interesting facts or information about any of the games or items that I showed in today's video. If you're new to the channel, consider subscribing so that you can join the Retro Wolf family. And as always, folks, stay safe out there. Keep playing games and having a good time. And I will see you all in the next video. Later.